I started running when I was young. I would see athletes training on the roads outside my house and loved how fast they were able to go. Ever since then, it has been my dream to be a successful athlete, one who wins lots of medals and performs well around the world. I'm hoping I can achieve all of my dreams because I think it must feel great to be a champion. That's all I'm thinking about for the future. 19-year-old Annette Negesa is Uganda's most exciting sporting prospect. A star in the junior ranks over 800 and 1500 meters, Annette is now working hard to make a name for herself as a senior. She first came to prominence in 2010 when she led Uganda to team bronze in the junior race at the World Cross Country Championships. A few months later, she won bronze in the 800 meters at the Junior Athletics World Championships in Moncton, Canada. Transworld Sport recently traveled to meet Annette in Iganga, an hour's drive east of Uganda's capital, Kampala. Training almost exclusively on her own, she's based at the King of Kings boarding school. My school has really helped me. They see the potential in me and have done everything they can to assist me and enable me to become a world-class athlete. They've always encouraged me to train hard and they've helped me travel to the best competitions in Uganda so I can improve. Annette's progress on the track has continued this year. In May, she won both the 800 and 1500 meters at the African Junior Championships. The national record holder in both middle distance events as well, Annette is now juggling her education with racing commitments on the European circuit. Despite her lack of experience, Annette has acquitted herself well and has already qualified to run the 800 meters at the World Championships in South Korea, which begin in August. In Daegu, Annette will take inspiration from Pamela Jalimo. The Kenyan burst onto the world scene in 2008, winning Olympic gold in Beijing and also the Golden League jackpot. Although Annette hasn't made quite the same impact, she's confident that she can emulate her idol. The person that I admire most of all is Pamela Jelimo. She is a fantastic athlete and is great to watch. I always smile when I see her racing and I would love to be able to perform like her. The thing is I know I'm capable of great performances too. I just need access to the best coaches and training camps. The remarkable thing about Annette's success to date is that she's achieved it without a regular coach or structured training program. A huge natural talent, she's nearing the end of her education and is looking forward to committing completely to the sport. I've been racing as a junior for four years and it's been a long process because it's so difficult to train correctly on your own. I was under a lot of pressure with my education and training had to take a back seat. In the last two years, I've gradually increased my training regime and the balance between my education and athletics is much better. Like most people in Uganda, Annette is a devout Christian. Every Sunday, she visits the Aganga Pentecostal Church next to her school. Religion has played a big part in helping her cope with her new life on the track. I really enjoy going to church and praising God. It's important to thank him for all that he's done for me. My faith is also important when I'm racing. It helps me to think about things clearly. If you go to church regularly, God will hear your prayers and guide you so that whatever challenges you face in your life, they can be overcome. As well as traveling to her first senior world championships this year, Annette is also aiming for success at the All Africa Games in Maputo, Mozambique in September. 
her emergence onto the world scene has given sports fans in Uganda hope that their country could have another female success story. To date, only one Ugandan woman, Dorcas Inzikuru, has triumphed at a global championships. These world championships will be my first, so I'm nervous and excited. There'll be so many champions, but I'm not intimidated. If I run well and beat some of the world's best athletes, people will get to know my name and begin to respect me. To assist her, Ugandan Athletics Association has recently helped Annette find a coach who can work with her whenever she's in the country. With a PB in the 800 meters of just over two minutes, it's clear that Annette is an athlete with huge natural ability. If she can start to train consistently and improve tactically, Annette Negesa could become a major force in women's middle distance running and another champion for Ugandans to be proud of. Whatever happens, I know that I will be training every hour I can for the Olympics next year. Everything I'm doing now will help me be ready for London. I just hope I continue to get faster so I can go to the Olympic Games as an athlete to fear.